Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. Have you tried boiling eggs without soaking in water? Well, let's see in this video how they do it. Hello, welcome to my channel once again. And if you're new to my channel, you may click the like button, share, and subscribe. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Now let us try boiling eggs with wet tissues alone, no soaking in water. Okay, and we can do that using a salad master pot. Now we have to attain, we have to achieve this yellowish, beautiful yellow color of the egg yolks. Okay, let's try to go through what we will expect in this video. Now as you see, we are using this salad master uh, pot to boil, to achieve this hard, hard boiled egg. Sometimes I do like soft boiled eggs, but some people don't like to have it in their meal. But somehow our goal here is to try to see how we can attain the hard boiled egg perfectly so that we may incorporate them in our egg diet. If you plan to go on, go into this boiled egg diet, let's try to start with how to boil eggs properly. As you see, our eggs are now boiling, the vape bulb ticking after like, uh, this is nine minutes set, it's all done. But before that, with the clicking of the bulb, we were able to uh, put the eggs inside the pot, wait for it to to uh, be done after five minutes and turn the fire from medium to low. And after that, leave the eggs inside the pot for about two minutes. Now look at the shiny, shiny egg, the hard boiled egg being peeled. And let's look at what's inside. Is it really hard boiled eggs? Whoops, so hot dropped from my fingers okay good so now let's see what's inside when you cut it open okay inside is a canary yellow perfect yellow you won't see grayish colors all around because it's perfectly cooked not overcooked you see when you have grayish colors on the um, outline of the egg yolk your egg is surely overcooked and there goes the danger in eating our hard boiled egg now let us try to see yeah that is chef emeterio nilagang itlog na walang tubig okay so you see we have here five eggs being placed inside the salad master pot and this is how we started wash the eggs thoroughly on top water and then when they're cleaned we also must prepare our clean pot and tissues of course uh, uh, wet like around three pieces of tissue paper would be would be fine three four five now turn the fire to medium and cover the pot the vape valve will go ticking when it's perfectly cooked it's cooked on time so that it won't the eggs won't give you this grayish outline around okay so now after around five minutes we have to put the fire on low and after another two minutes we may turn the fire off and let's leave the eggs inside that's why in the clock it displayed nine minutes uh, cooking now we have here um, what yes what happened let's see what happened see right before your eyes another egg is cracked open with its yellow no grayish color outline on the around the yolk so that's it now let's try to see 
look at these beautiful eggs right with only salt and pepper you can have them devour them as you wish you like and we can have them atop our vegetable salad this is what we call jarjir in the saudi the middle east world okay now let's try to see what is the boiled egg diet the boiled egg diet is a type of diet that focuses on eggs particularly hard boiled eggs you eat a minimum of two or three eggs per day and you don't even have to incorporate them into every meal how does the boiled egg diet work there are several versions of the boiled egg diet breakfast lunch and dinner we have two at least two eggs eggs for each meal and uh, over the breakfast only and for lunch and dinner you have one egg or two eggs it depends on your um, anatomy yeah with lean or lean protein and low carb vegetables now let's see this is a sample of a seven day sample menu for the boiled egg diet for the first day on the first day we may have breakfast for breakfast two eggs peanuts and orange and for lunch grilled salmon and salad for dinner grilled pork chop with broccoli for day two on day two we may have for breakfast two eggs tomatoes and cantaloupe for lunch grilled chicken on salad and dinner tuna with kale let's go to the third day two eggs and orange for breakfast slice slice steak on salad for lunch and bake salmon with mushrooms you may go for substitute over the internet for day four we may have two eggs asparagus strawberries and for breakfast and egg salad and lettuce for lunch beef roast with cauliflower for dinner for the fifth on the fifth day we may have for breakfast two eggs slice of ham strawberries and for lunch baked cod with asparagus for dinner we may have grilled chicken skewers with bell peppers and onions for day six and on day six we have for breakfast two eggs cantaloupe lunch egg salad and lettuce and for dinner we may have mai mahi with green beans and on the last day for breakfast we may have two eggs watermelon lunch grilled salmon and salad and for dinner we may have pork chop with bok choy or pet chai or that's what we used to call it in cantonese bok choy side effects of eating mostly boiled eggs this diet is really low calorie and restricts many high fiber foods like whole grains and beans because of that you may miss the mark on fiber if you're not careful it's recommended that men ages 50 and younger get at least 38 grams of fiber and women get at least 25 grams of fiber per the famous mayo clinic go too low and you may be at risk of constipation especially high if you eat only eggs as eggs have zero 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 grams of fiber is it safe to follow the boiled egg diet if you do the boiled egg diet for a short time and you're generally healthy it's unlikely to cause any problems researchers defined a high egg diet as consuming 12 or more eggs a week while they said a low egg diet involved eating fewer than two eggs a week Eggs are also flagged for their saturated fat contain. Its large egg contains 1.5 grams of saturated fat. So are eggs good or bad for you? Saturated fat in food raises cholesterol, not necessarily dietary cholesterol. It's the simple carbohydrates and sugars in foods that increase cholesterol and triglycerides. I wouldn't worry about eating hard-boiled eggs daily. Yet, if that's the majority of what you're eating, the saturated fat could add up it two eggs a day. But this health advice seems to vary yearly according to other health organizations to be safe. If you have diabetes or any risk factors for heart disease, ask your health care team how many eggs are right for you to eat. That's all for now, folks, and thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in our next video. Keep fit, stay safe, and God bless us all. Bye.